The red line, 1245 Quincy Center. Super hot. Nice um, it was a little cooler on the train. How has it been the last couple of days? Cool shirt so far. There's no denying it's been an especially hot and humid summer. Pretty intense. Now imagine it down below. Industrial fans are cranking on underground platforms, but what about the trains themselves? It's cool, but then once, uh, you know, kind of people pack on, it gets kind of muggy and hot all over again. It's packed hot sweaties. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get to where you need to go, though. Yeah. Do you think the tea could do better about keeping everyone cool, or? They're doing good. They're doing good. The tea says every vehicle they have, every bus, every train, every trolley, does have working air conditioning before it leaves. I didn't know they had air conditioning. <laughs> so you're not feeling it? No, not at all. Not at all. I'm sweating up a storm. The T responds to every complaint it receives online, and officials say the few heat-related issues have been manageable and are addressed. In fact, overwhelmingly, commuters told us they don't actually fault the MBTA for any temporary discomfort. No, not at all. <laughs> the winter's around the corner, right? There's not much you can do when it's that hot. We certainly found some understanding commuters today. The T advises anyone who may experience a problem to contact a supervisor here. Just make sure you note the number on your vehicle.